Okay. Hi everybody, it's Matt from Double Bridge Cool Saints here, and today I have my red Broly deck profile to show you. Um, so, Broly is critical on his unawakened side. He has an auto when he's placed in the leader area, you get the dormant legend, um, that's your field. And his awakening is you draw one and get one energy back. And then we flip him over. Now, this is where he gets to draw cards. <laughs> so, when he attacks, you draw one card. And he has an activate battle skill of once per turn. You choose one card in your hand, you place it in your drop area, and you minus one of your opponent's battle cards by 10k. So, you can stop a bigger thing with a lot of power, reduce it, make it easier to combo out of, or potentially kill something off the board. Um, before I go into the rest of the I'd, I'd say do this deck if you want to have a bit of a gimmicky fun, basically. That's basically what the deck is. It, uh, I wouldn't say it's an overly competitive deck unless there is a way to make it uh, massively competitive, but I haven't sat down and figured out a way yet. But yeah, funsies, sure, why not? Um, so, to start off with, then we're going to the extra cards, and I've got four negates for this deck. So, we've got the two after image technique, and two copies is that all you've got. So, after his technique is your sparking one, so you can take a life to do it if you've got five in a drop. It counter attack, it doesn't actually negate the attack, but you choose your leader against 40k and then you choose something to get minus 10k. So, very good, very good. And then the other negate is an actual negate, but then you can pitch a card and minus two battle cards by 15k power. So you can stop potential other attacks. Um, and then we've got two copies of Transcendent Strike. So, activate main, pay one red. If your leader card is red, you choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards, and it loses 20k power. Um, and then, obviously, it can die. Well, no, no so you choose 20k power or less and KO it. So, you get very. Generally, two drops and three drops. Um, what the odd four drop here on there? But it's board removal, which is what the deck needs, because it can't really maintain masses of matter of hand. Um, the next card we've got Denial of Hope. So this is one of the new counter cards that came in set seven. The counter play, the leader card is red. It's about a card your opponent is playing, it's got 20k power or less. It goes straight into drop instead of being played. And then we have the Dormant Legend. I've decided to go with three copies of this, even though, in, yes, you technically only need the one because um, your leader places it in the. well, places it on the board, but still gone with three um, because its effect can still be useful afterwards uh, just to get the four drop onto the board without doing a rival or paying four because it's got a permanent, you. Da -da -da, you can't place this card. Wait, what? You can't place your cards under this card except with this card skill. Okay. So it's. Yeah. And then its skill is when you take life, you get a card from the top of your deck and put it underneath it. And that's when you take it just in general or it comes off crit as well. And that's only during your opponent's turn. So you can't do it off your own skills that um, self awaken you to get cards underneath this. So it's only during opponent, which is fine. But it does mean you're taking that bit of damage when you may not want to. And it's activate main is when there's three cards underneath it, you send it to the drop area and the three cards underneath it and you get the uh, Broly that costs four from your deck and play it. Which we'll get to later in a deck profile. Um, so into the one drops. We've got... Uh, the one drop Broly from set one is uh, just as a Broly searcher. So, one green when you play, look at the top seven and you add a green Broly from one end to your hand and shuffle your deck. Because um, the Broly cards are green red, they're technically searchable off of it. So, it's fine. And then. I've got a 3-3 free free split on the green-red version of Borgos, basically. You play it, you draw a card, your opponent gets an energy back during their turn, but card skill that's not awakened, you get rid of an energy. So, 
Um, obviously, this deck's built around provide, uh, blah, 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 arrival. So having these is really great because they're 5Ks, which can trigger your arrival without you paying energy to. Um, on to the twos. Do, 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 do. So to start off with, we've got the super combos. So we've got them with two Roshi, the sparking one, and two Krillin. They're just, it doesn't matter whether it's Krillin, whether it's something else. It's just, if you like the four or less combo, draw a card. Um, probably would be best though if it is one of the ones that got 10k regardless of the draw. Just because they're, they're better. Um, and then we got four copies of the Broly Demonic Origins. So cost two, red green. It's got energy exhaust, but if you've got another red green card in there, it comes in active instead of energy exhausted. And when you play it, you choose one card in your hand, place it in. I oh know, your opponent chooses one card in their hand and plays it in the drop area. So if you want to play it out, you can make your opponent discard a card, which is fair enough, but I only ever really charge this card. Um, the only free drop in a deck is the Self Awakener. This is SS Broly Legend Unleashed. So, free drop, one of it being green, it's got 19 key power, which is really good. Because it's that awkward number. And then it has Adrenate Main. If your opponent has three or more energy, um, you can choose the Dormant Legend in your battle area, send it to a drop, play this card from your hand, and then when you play this card from your hand, um, yeah, you know, when you play this card, for the duration of the turn, if your leader card is Red Broly card, you can activate the Awaken skill if you've got five or more life. So you can bring this out by his Activate Main to Awaken, uh, or you can pay free energy and do it either way. But you want to get your Dormant Legend into the draw area as quickly as possible. So your opponent hasn't been attacking you to get the cards underneath. Just play this guy. Um, and then I've done a 2-2 two -two split on the pseudo super combos. You combo with it or you play it, you just draw a card. And it's obviously red and green to help the arrivaling of the deck. Um, and then onto the rest of the four drops, just gone with the four copies of the Rapid Barrage Broly. Um, so, the reason why there's four is you want to get it off your Dawn Legend, you need it in the deck for the Dormant Legend. It's also a reason why there's three Dawn Legends, so it's four free split. So, you can play another Dormant Legend to get another one of these from the deck if you really want to, but you can only have one of these out in play. At any given time anyway so if it, you end up getting rid of it but you've got um dormant legend in play you can just get another one out onto the board without paying for but you do have to take the damage so eh, it's a bit of a it's a bit of a weird one um you can easily take dormant legend just down to the one and just have it with the leader thing but then you can potentially lose out on the uh playing the free drop for free for the self awakening it's it's and buts really um, but anyway, so this has got Arrival, Red, Green, you pay it red. It's got Energy Exhaust, which is the same with all the multicolored cards. Permanent, you can only have one of it out, and you can only play it if Double Legends in the drop. Then it has two autos. Uh, when you play this card, you choose what's one your opponent in the spell cards, and it gets minus 10k. And its other auto is when your opponent combos, you may choose one card in your hand, place it in the drop area. If you do, you choose up to one card in your opponent's combo area, and place it in the drop, and then you gain the skill for duration of turn. So, moving your opponent's combo area, which is another reason why it's good to have that, because the deck doesn't maintain hand very well. So that skill is very, very powerful for the deck. Uh, onto the five drops. So I've decided to go with two copies of the Gogeta. This is from the... Help me out, Diana. It's not, um, like an expansion set, but only for like certain... No, it was like a red green, oh, yeah, red green one. I can't yeah. remember the name. Yeah, I can't remember the name either, but it's the expansion set. Um, unit, oh no, that's the set, isn't it? Oh, I don't know. Anyway, um, so, it's five drop, he's got a double strike, but he has a rival red, green, pay a red, uh, energy exhaust. When you play this card, you choose up to one, which auto is, when you play this card, you choose up to one, you play this battle cards, 
and it's got energy cost 4 or less and you just get rid of it. So it's quite good if your opponent's swinging for battle card. Um, and it's got energy cost of 4 but they've comboed up into it because it, say it's got double strike to deal some damage to you. Uh, you can just combo with one 10k that's a multicolored, and then just pay one red and get rid of the battle card that's attacking if it doesn't have barrier. Um, and then this might seem a bit overkill but it's because this is one you definitely definitely need on the board um, so this is the six drop for the deck the Roly tragedy foretold amazing SP like that's the SR artwork the SPR just looks absolutely lovely uh, so he's got a rival red green you gotta pay a red and a green which is fine um, energy exhaust again normal Permanent, you can only have one of this out and you can only play it if you got the dormant engine you drop. So exactly the same as the four drop one. Uh, then it has an auto of when you play this card, you choose up to two of your opponent's battle cards, ignoring barrier, and you get minus 15k into the end of the turn. Which is great. And it's the only one in the deck that ignores barrier. Um, but whatever. And then his other auto is similar to the four drop ones. It does the same thing apart from you don't have to pitch a card but again it's only once per turn so still really good and then to top it all off we were fortunate enough to get the secret rare so for those of you who watched the box opening you'll see that we got this and we were both just like <laughs> <laughs> like either of the secret rares would have been nice but I we got a reputation to uphold <laughs> Yeah, we the reputation is normally we pull a secret and a god pack, but this is the one set where we did not get a god pack. I'm pretty sure we got one for set six, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah. So set seven is the only disappointment so far, but we still managed to get a secret, so yeah. can't complain. <laughs> but um, so actually a fantastic card this one. So arrival is red green, but you got to pay three red and two green. Easily done. No problems. Um, generally, you won't. If you're going to end up playing this card to kill your opponent or at least wither them down a bit, you will generally have your, all your energy open. You should only really be going to turn five to try and kill them with this, really, because of the way you can just put a lot of pressure on a turn to play it and then either take the life. But yeah. Anyway, so auto, when you play this card, you choose up to one card in your life and place it in your drop area, and then you deal two damage to your opponent. So, um, you got to try and keep yourself a decent amount of life so you can do this. And then it's uh, when your opponent combos with a battle card, uh, with an energy cost of two or less, you choose up to one of your opponent's combo area cards and place it in his drop area. Um, now, this one's not once per turn, because it would be a bit weird if the secret was once per turn as well <laughs> um, but basically it just like you're playing super combos yes they still draw a card but they lose the 10k so you can just like they have to use the bigger cards to combo up basically if they want to have shield and that's it that's the um, red broly deck profile so thank you very much for watching and look out for the next game and debt profiles I guess or next debt profile or whatever anyway bye bye guys